There are a few things I love as much as Sunday brunch. You can sleep till noon and still get eggs anywhere in the city. Alcohol is often included. And it's the one day you get the single women's sports page, the New York Times wedding section. Well, that just means I'm getting laid. I'll drink to that. <laughs> but I want more. I mean, Big and I have been in this holding pattern. When are we gonna take it to the next level? Well, talk to him. I think in an intimate relationship, you should be able to say anything. I highly disagree. Every relationship I've ever known has been based on a foundation of lies and mutually accepted delusion. Yes! <laughs> Well, I happen to be in an intimate relationship right now, and I can tell you the level of verbal discourse has gotten a little too intimate. Are we talking about pizza or an actual person? <laughs> oh, is this Spring Roll Guy? Oh, Spring Roll Guy, who's that? Aaron Melman. He's a dermatologist I picked up at the Vietnamese lunch truck in front of my building. <laughs> so what's the problem? Well. The problem, if you can call it that, is that spring roll guy liked to talk dirty in bed. <laughs> oh, baby, I just love the way your pussy feels. All oh, wet and warm and tight. Ah, oh, kissing your tits feels unbelievably uh, sexy. I'm so hot and nasty. Uh, How's it feel to you? What you said. <laughs> well, that can be a turn on. Well, yeah, but now he wants me to reciprocate. I can't. I never could. Why not? Because sex is not a time to chat. It's one of the few times in my overly verbal, exceedingly articulated life where it's perfectly acceptable, if not preferable, to just shut up. At that moment, I have to make conversation? No, thank you. Well, just talk about his big cock. <laughs> oh, whoa. Correction, his big, beautiful cock. <laughs> so we're using the C word now? Sorry. I can't use adjectives. Well, sometimes men just need to hear a little bit of encouragement. Oh, such as. I find it. You're so hard. <laughs> it's pretty effective. I prefer the back doors open. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yes, Doug. That's right. Uh-huh. Don't stop! Just like that! Come on! Fuck it on! Stop! That a girl. You're kidding, right? Uh, wow. Uh, no, they really like it. So are you actually telling us that during sex you're completely mute? No. I mean, I can do a good orgasm alert. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come, I'm coming! But that's because I'm coming, you know? <laughs> oh. Here you guys, I'll get this. Oh, thanks, Carrie. Uh, oh. Uh, Carrie? I don't think they take these here. Oh. Oops, sorry. I'm spending the night at Big's. Oh, God. Are you telling me you don't have so much as a drawer there? Well, Big is weird about stuff. Of course he is. All men are. That's why you have to get in there and stake out some territory. I think with Big, it's best to walk softly and carry a big purse. <laughs> oh, my God. See what I do there? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. <laughs> She's right. I mean, she's not funny, but she's right. <laughs> she shouldn't leave anything there. It's important to remain a creature of mystery. 
What's the big mystery? He knows she wears underwear. You know, I stopped wearing underwear to guys' places. I never saw it again. Why? What happens to it? I never go back. <laughs> Doesn't that get a little expensive, just okay, opening up lingerie yeah. every time you have sex with a guy? That's why I stopped wearing underwear on dates. <laughs> And that's why I'm no longer borrowing dresses from you. <laughs> oh, I once found a woman's pair of underwear in another man's bed. Maybe it was Samantha. Oh! oh, oh you oh, shame! <laughs> shame! Most of my record collection was left behind by old boyfriends. It's like a parting gift. Thanks for playing, and here's the latest from Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> They're all just sexual souvenirs. <laughs> The next morning at Biggs, I started to think. If the things we leave behind become the archaeological relics of our sexual history, I should be able to leave something. Ancient man left cave drawings to prove they existed. I left a Hair Pro 1200. And I didn't stop at that. Man may have discovered fire, but women discovered how to play with it. Oh, um, yes, I'd like to return this vibrator. We don't sell vibrators. Uh, yes you do, I, I bought this here six weeks ago. That's not a vibrator, it's a neck massager. No, it's a vibrator. <laughs> Sharper Image does not sell vibrators, it's a neck massager. So you're telling me that women use these on their necks? It's a neck massager. Fine, then I'd like to return this <clears throat> neck massager. What's wrong with it? It failed to get me off. <laughs> Look, I've got a warranty, it just stopped. It made the saddest little sound. Perhaps you wore it out. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, look, uh, just go pick out another vibrator and- Neck, neck massager. massager! And uh, take it to the cashier. <sighs> I know a guy who needs his neck massaged. One. Looks like it means serious business. No, honey, you don't want that one. Too many bells and whistles. And that one, honey, I don't think so. It works against you. If you want to work that hard, get a man. <laughs> I think that one is a neck massager. Not if you mount it. Seriously, since when are you the Gene Siskel of vibrators? <laughs> No, honey, no, not that one. That'll burn your clit right off. <laughs> Even with underwear? Even with ski pants. Oh. <laughs> Tired of the Neanderthals she'd been dating, Charlotte was spending her Saturday night with a gay friend who catered parties for the gallery. Dessert chef, Stefan Bodine. Who knew that Betty Buckley was so talented? Please, she's the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Why do people say that? I don't know. Maybe because she was in cats. Let's start a new one like, She's the dog's tuxedo! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, no, please. Thank you for accepting my last minute invite. My friend Don canceled at the last minute, and we had had tickets forever. Oh. Well, you can call me anytime. It's just so refreshing to actually go with a man I can really talk to. Oh, you want to grab a cappuccino? No, I'm just going to get on home. Oh. You're uptown? Yeah, and you're... 
Chelsea! <laughs> I'll hail you a cab. The gay straight man was a new strain of heterosexual male spawned in Manhattan as a result of overexposure to fashion, exotic cuisine, musical theater, and anal. I mean, antique furniture. Well, here's hoping he's a gay straight guy, which means he's a straight guy with lots of great gay qualities. Whereas, if he's a straight gay guy, he's just a gay guy who likes sports and won't fuck you. <laughs> Well, he must be a gay straight man because he asked Charlotte out on a second date. Ooh. Unless he's a straight gay man in denial. Oh. Well, our Friday night wasn't even a date. I mean, I didn't wash my hair and I wore my glasses. Charlotte. Oh. 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 Glasses. <laughs> I have to see. It was Saturday night and Samantha convinced us to go to Raw, where the scene was hot and the food was not. Finally, you think a place that eliminated cooking can eliminate waiting. Wait a second. You mean they don't cook the food here? That's why it's called raw. As in the raw food movement. Everyone's loving it. Sting, Demi, Soon Yi, Soon Me. Raw food exactly. Oh, it's vegan non-dairy, and nothing's heated above 118 degrees. So raw vegetables. And sometimes flowers. And you knew about this. <laughs> I read a review in the Times. Where? The gardening section? <laughs> Isn't anybody going to notice my purse? <gasps> oh. <laughs> No, but it's quite small and, like Samantha, panty-free. Oh. You left your underwear at Biggs. Well, no, but just a couple of things. A hairbrush and a hairdryer, and tampons and some razors, and a little bit of beard concealer, and three days' worth of Truvada, and a couple of enemas. My kimono, and some vodka, and a desk, and my laptop, and a spice rack, and my curling iron, and a waffle iron, an espresso machine, some porn from the 80s that I had, a triple sec, and a honey baked ham. Ham? 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 Well, good for you. Thank you. <laughs> There's something else. What? 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 For the first time at Big, I did a number two. No! 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 Yes! No! Yes! Kaka, yes! <laughs> I mean, don't worry, I took it, it's in my purse. <laughs> then leave it there. I think it's a good sign. It means I'm comfortable enough with Big to even do a number two. Oh, oh, it is not a good sign. It's the end of romance. Hey, this could be a big deal. I once got through an entire relationship without doing that at his place. 
Even a weekend in Bermuda where I had to run down to the lobby. I mean, shit, you know, it's tough in New York. Apartments are small. There's only one bathroom. You can hear everybody's, you know, boop, boop. Oh, crap. You know, that's why I only date rich men. Money buys enough space between you and the number two. <laughs> oh, fudge. I've never done a number two at a man's place. Honey, you're so uptight, you need to do a number seven. Hey. Welcome to Raw. Hello. We'd, uh, like to get you started with a little amuse bouche. I'd like him to amuse my bouche. <laughs> well, this just looks delicious. It's our uh, summer vegetable soup. Mm. I see ladies are all set for drinks, so I'll give you a few minutes with the menus. Oh, and our specials, if you're interested. Oh, yes. I'm extremely interested. <laughs> My seat that way is hot. <laughs> and the soup is not. Oh, what is this? It's bad. It's just bad. It's like a lawn in a bowl. I know this place is supposed to be hot shit, but something should be over 118 degrees. Like sex? Ugh. Can we please talk about something other than sex? Well, then you'll have to shoot the waiter. I mean, have you looked at that ass? I like big butts and I cannot lie. Baby got back. Later that night, while Miranda stopped off for a slice on the way home, I met Big at my place for a nightcap. Hey, beautiful! Hi, you handsome. Oh, what's this? Oh, you know, just a few things you left at my place. Thanks. Oh, but wait, there's more. Too many items I was being kicked out of the relationship express lane. I mean, what is it about Big's apartment? It's like Teflon for women. Nothing ever sticks. I meant to leave that stuff at your place. Why? Well, for one thing, I don't wake up like this. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. And it takes a lot of stuff ing to look this way. I mean, nice not to carry around all day like a homeless person. Not that there's anything wrong with that, San Francisco. Don't get upset at me. <laughs> Sensitive on this coast. And it's not a lot of stuff, and you could leave stuff here. Well, I don't want to leave stuff here. Well, just a few things, you know, like if you want to shave in the morning. Well, I shave at the gym. I don't know. You could leave socks. You want me to leave socks here? <sighs> Never mind. Really? Really? I mean, seriously. Never mind what I want. What do you want? Well, I don't know. Hey, let's save ourselves an hour, and why don't you 
Tell me what I want. <laughs> no, really. In your mind, what is the ideal living situation for two people in a relationship? Well, exactly what we have. And what is that? You have your place and I have mine. We're together when we want to be and apart when we want to be, like right now. Good night. <laughs> Ever since Woody Allen described waving to Mia Farrow across the park, single men in Manhattan had yearned for that kind of separate togetherness. I felt like the last dinosaur. Was I the one who needed to adapt? Was my view of a relationship extinct? I couldn't stop thinking about it. This is a city where gay men are so out, they're in. We can have anything delivered any hour. We can have our dogs walked, our clothes cleaned, our food cooked, our things returned. Who needs a husband when you have a doorman, a waiter, or a pastry chef? Since Stefan hadn't come out, Charlotte accepted his invitation to stay in. That smells delicious. Oh, it's grilled. Uh, portobello pizzas with fresh basil and Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. It's Martha's recipe. Oh, I love Martha Stewart. She's the dog's tuxedo. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look, you have the silk placemats I've been eyeing at Birdorf's. You have good taste. This is my fantasy kitchen. Well, this is my fantasy. <gasps> oh my God! Is that dress Cynthia Rowley? Charlotte wanted to be open-minded, but Stefan seemed to be making it as hard as possible. Oh, Meanwhile, across town, Miranda was appearing as Eliza Doolittle in My Filthy Lady. Oh, I just love kissing this sensitive spot right here. Oh, God. Do you like that? Yeah, tell me what you like. That. Oh, and, and me putting my hand right there and caressing your breath. Sure, whatever. Come on. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, I'm gently pinching your nipple. Fine. Um, yeah, you're you're touching my chest. That's really hot. You're you're turning me on. <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, it's hot. Hot. And. Harry. Oh, yeah, baby, you're getting me hard. Oh, what else? It's, uh, it's big. Oh, uh, and? Hard. Oh, yeah. Use your words. Oh, it's, it, it's like a rock. Oh, yeah. It's like a big rock. Oh, it's like a big, hard rock. Oh, yeah, baby, you are so nasty. It's like a sausage. Oh, oh God, I can use adjectives. Oh, Surprisingly God. enough, once Miranda opened her mouth, she found it difficult to shut up. It's like a big... Rock hard throbbing sausage! You talk dirty to me. The next day, I went shopping with Samantha and got some tough talk of my own. Thing is really hurting my sex life with Big. Well then dump them. Fuck me badly once, shame on you. <laughs> Fuck me badly twice, shame on me. Yeah. Yes. Oh, is that the saying? Well, it's my saying, it's their saying too. <laughs> I don't want to dump him. I think he's fantastic. Right. So far. 
And aren't we a little old to jump to the dump? I mean, what about working on things? Hello, can I help you find anything? Are you Asian? Yes, um, I am looking for something that'll make a man come in his pants the moment he sees me. Got it. Okay. You talk to salespeople like that? Oh, I'm here all the time, they love me. <laughs> So is this for a specific gentleman, or you just look for that generally? Oh, it's for that waiter at Rob. I'm sleeping with him tonight, but he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I think I need to talk to Big. No! We talk about everything else. Honey, when it comes to sex, spray it. Don't say it. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Look, I am trying to salvage your love life. The only words you should be saying in bed are dirty ones. Thank you, Miranda. <laughs> At least she's getting laid. That hurts. <laughs> I can't do that without alcohol. Well then, honey, act like this audience and start drinking. <laughs> Cause if you want a hotter sex life, you gotta turn up the heat! <laughs>
Have you ever been with a woman? Uh, well, once in college, but, well, it's just that, you know, Betty Buckley and, and Martha Stewart and Cynthia Rowley? Stefan, are you gay? Charlotte, I'm a 35-year-old pastry chef who listens to Sharon Loves His Mother, and I live in Chelsea. If I were gay, I'd be gay. You're the one that doesn't want to make love. Oh. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Charlotte was relieved and delighted to discover Stefan was definitely straight. Or at least a gay straight man. Frankly, after two orgasms, who the hell cares? Oh, uh, yes, Dad. Uh-huh. That's right. Don't stop. It's just like that. Come on, fucker, don't stop! <laughs> And after a night of raw food, Samantha enjoyed an all-nighter of raw sex. Tell me, I ate a fucking cactus. <laughs> Get down there and make it up to me. Awesome. So lick it now, lick it good, lick this pussy just like you should. Come on. Right now, lick it good, lick this pussy just like you should. My neck, uh. my back, lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, my back, lick my pussy. That night, Miranda turned the heat way up, only to discover that free speech comes with a cost of its own. Oh yeah, baby. I just love putting my hand around your cock. I just love hearing you say cock. 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 Cock, 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 cock. <laughs> Why couldn't I say that word before? It's just a word. Why does it turn us both on so much when I do? What else do you like? Oh, I like it when you're rough. I like it when you throw my legs over my head. I lose all control. Now, what do I like? You like it when I'm pinching your nipple. What else? You like it when I'm kissing your balls. Oh, yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah, baby. I know you really like it when I... <laughs> when I slip a finger up your ass. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, yeah, baby, you love it when I stick a finger right up your ass. Oh, no, that's disgusting. Now, lady, you've got a real problem. Oh. 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 supposed to know that you like a finger up your ass is the one thing you can't say in bed. Oh, trust me, it's not the only thing. But it's true, he loves it. A lot of men do. <laughs> they enjoy it. They just don't want it bought to their attention. That's why I go with the real subtle four in the sack with one in the back. Just kind of sneak in there real quick when they're not looking, and if they get scared, then you pull back and you distract them with the balls, and then you sneak back in, kind of like, like an ass ninja. That's disgusting. 
disgusting. You've got a real problem, lady. I said what what in the butt. 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 In that morning, certain things were being brought to Charlotte's attention. Good morning, sleepyhead! Something smells amazing. Oh, it's warm cranberry buttermilk scones with lemon curd. Oh my god, if I keep dating you, I'm gonna gain 10 pounds. Oh, please. You'll still be gorgeous. Uh, do you want some tea? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> What's that noise? What noise? Well, it's kind of like a squeaking. At that moment, Charlotte realized her masculine side wasn't evolved enough for a man whose feminine side was as highly evolved as Stefan's. And as for me, I spent the night at Biggs for the first time since my stuff was kicked to the curb. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Home. It's where my hair dryer is. Oh. I might have to dry my hair. Well, you know, I think it looks pretty great right now. Hey, you. You bring those gorgeous ass pads right back in bed. <laughs> Suddenly, I realized I didn't have to worry about leaving something behind. Big like my behind, and it was already there. Okay, I'll stay for just a minute, but I'm leaving these panties here. Oh! <laughs> Are they clean? Not a chance. <laughs> Okay, it was a small step for mankind, but it was a really big finger up the ass for big. <laughs>